to Cartagena. We've been here for like a few hours now. Um, we've just been doing a little bit of shopping. Brooke's currently in this little store over here. Um, she like cleaned up, found a bunch of like little dresses and stuff for like 10, 15 bucks. Um, so yeah, it's been good so far. We have a few more hours until we can check into our hotel and then hopefully just cool off. It is very warm here, a lot warmer than it's been in like in Bogota, Medellin, and Salento. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go find something to pull off with. When it was time for us to check in, we went back to the hotel and then changed for sunset drinks at Movich. This is a stunning place to grab drinks. The views are incredible, so I highly recommend this. Good morning, guys. So it's day two here in Cartagena. Um, we woke up this morning and got some breakfast and we were meant to be doing a walking tour like with Beyond Colombia, like we did in Bogota. They have a Cartagena one as well. Um, so we were supposed to do that, but they overbooked the tour. So there was like 70 people and there's only supposed to be like 40 or something. Um, so we had to ixnay that idea. So we're hopefully gonna be doing a hop on hop off tour. They were right here in the square. So we just bought the tickets. They were 55,000 pesos each. So uh, what is that? Like. 10-ish dollars maybe like 10 us dollars so it's gonna take us around to about 14 different sites and whatnot so hopefully it's good um but it's so hot guys like the sun and the humidity it's just it is warm here and it's february the hop on hop off tour is a great way to see the city definitely sit on the second level though because there's a breeze up there versus in the bottom part it gets really muggy from the doors opening and closing so much I just can't. Alrighty, so we just had lunch at a really good place. I'll leave it looked right here. Um, but it was really good. We just decided to go with the Hi. <laughs> we just decided to go with a little small lunch because we have a seven course tasting dinner tonight at a place called Carmen, which should be really good. Um, so yeah, we just did a little light lunch, got to speak with some more people from Washington. Um, there's some Germans next to us. Very interesting. Uh, but yeah, so now we're just walking around, exploring Jetsamani a little bit more, um, and then we'll probably head back to the hotel, get changed for dinner, and yeah. So it is several hours later. We are currently just outside of Carmen. This is where we're having our Valentine's Day dinner uh, because we're singletons in Colombia and they have a nice little tasting menu. So we're gonna be doing seven courses with pairings. Is it wine strictly? I think so. I think it's just wine, wine pairings, maybe cocktail pairings, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, it should be very interesting. Brooke's recording me, I'm assuming, to be like, when you travel with a travel blogger. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done a tasting menu before, but guys, this was so good. Every plate they brought out was so beautiful and then just such unique ingredients that you would never think to put together or would never try on your own. It all came together so well and we only paid like 90 US dollars for this, guys. And this would easily cost two, three hundred dollars in the States. Um, but yeah, we were laughing because Brooke didn't finish any of her glasses and then I only had like a half a glass of wine left. Um, but yeah, if you can, absolutely book this experience. We are on the Bonavita catamaran today, and I think we have two slots, maybe three, but they're gonna feed us. We have free like soft drinks and stuff, um, but you do have to pay for like the lemonade and alcohol drinks. But we just got to our first stop. It's really pretty. I'll give you guys a view in a moment. Um, but yeah, we're just out here floating. Got my little noodle. Hi, mom. She's always like, I can't believe you trust your life on that noodle, but it works, and I get to enjoy the ocean because your girl can't swim which is like on my bucket list thing. I need to definitely learn how to do that.
As we were sailing back to Cartina, we encountered these huge waves. Like, I don't even know if this video does them justice, but me and Brooke were hanging off the side of the boat and got completely soaked by a couple of them. But yeah, that pretty much wrapped up our Columbia trip because like I mentioned in the Medellin vlog, me and Brooke got food poisoning and it hit her really hard. So we ended up booking an earlier flight to get her home soon arrived later. So yeah, that's the Cartagena vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more future content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.